and reporting on behalf of the environment. Mr. The Chair, I recommend these reports. Um, I call Sarah Dowling. Oh, look, thank you, Mr. Chair, for the opportunity to take a call in this appropriation 2018-19 estimates um, bill. And as the lead for conservation on this side of the House, that will be the focus um, of my contribution here. And of course, as we're aware, um, this is an opportunity for the new minister to spell out her vision for conservation and the conservation effort in New Zealand moving forward and how she will enable DOC uh, to engage the community and lead them to involve themselves in a con conservation ethic um, that will bring about a betterment uh, for New Zealand. And quite frankly, um, I was disappointed with a minister that while she was a member in, in opposition, she had all of the answers. She was very quick to tell us um, how to run um, the Department of Conservation and to run our conservation initi initiatives. But yet in the chair at the hearing, she had no answers and quite frankly was wedded to an ideology that would take the Department of Conservation back to the 1980s, to the bad old days where the state would do everything and <laughs> she would not engage community. And in the hearing, she was um, quite, quite clear about um, her reluctance uh, to involve uh, business, to involve community, and um, to involve people in a conservation initiative. And uh, one of the things that she said uh, was that she was reluctant to have uh, or to garner support from business, to garner support of extra funding um, into initiatives because she wanted to keep these businesses at arm's length and she was um, somewhat dubious about the influence that they would have on her officials. Well, first of all, I have faith in the officials at the Department of Conservation that they um, will not be swayed as to a conservation ethic and what is the right thing to do with respect to protecting and conserving um, an environment. But the other thing is, is that when you can bring um, business and partners on board, not only only do you get a financial return, but you get that engagement where they can build trust, where they can bring stakeholders from a range of varying backgrounds together uh, to push forward conservation benefits. And that is true in one example with respect um, to Fonterra and um, their waters initiative. Uh, and, and, and particularly in my area with respect um, to Waituna Lagoon, which is a Ramsar site. Um, an ability to bring together farmers, to bring together conservationists, um, to bring together um, a range of different people, bird watchers, uh, fishers, whoever is in the area together and build that trust to look at a wetland and recognise its beauty and its conservation value and work together around a table to create a set of common goals um, to bring forward conservation in that area. Um, and, and my question with respect to this is how far will the new minister take this? Um, will this continue, this abhorrence to involving the community to the likes of, of Predator Free? Predator free is based on the fact that we need our community to engage in the eradication of um, our pests and to involve themselves in community, uh, in conservation at community level at the grass uh, roots. So is she going to sabotage that initiative by turning away people that want to get involved in conservation? And even further, does this um, anti-partnership model uh, stem to even other departments with partnerships such as with the Department of Corrections, where we um, take uh, offenders and rehabilitate them through conservation efforts uh, to build carcaporiums, uh, to plant uh, and, and nurture plants, and then replant them and restore uh, certain landscapes. How far will she take us backwards with not involving uh, people on the ground in conservation? Conservation should not be a polarising issue.
conservation is owned and, and everybody in New Zealand has a passion for conservation. We have an innate sense of connection to our natural environment and at all costs a connection with community should be cherished. Um, I call Angie Warren-Clark. Thank you, Mr Chair. Uh, it's a great pleasure to stand and uh, to have a...